Cyberpunk. Are they back? Well, let's patch. Next gen level. Bring back the community that left it. Let's hop into the Cyberpunk gaming info. Let's go. Welcome back to One Way Dragons TV, baby. It's your host, Lemon23, aka Lemetheus, right hand of Zeus, and we are back with another one. And you want to know something? Before we get into any of this patch 1.5 for Cyberpunk 2077, let's get into the retro game of the day, Gauntlet 4, that dropped on that Genesis in 1993. Yes, this is the fourth version of the 1985 Atari Classic. It was made by Tengen Games. And with that being said, you know this was one of the top played four player co-op games in the history of gaming. It even had an iteration on the 360. With that being said, let's move into these stats and these new features for Cyberpunk 2077. Let's go. Now, there's a great many things they updated in this patch. I'm gonna go over a few things that is detrimental that really changed the gameplay. First of all, let's talk about the brand new AI and physics. Now, before, when you got into a shootout or something, the AI did not respond properly to what was going on in them streets. And this is what's crazy. They will officially respond how and what you do in the game like Grand Theft Auto when something pops off. But this is even better. If the NPCs are strapped, you're gonna get into some exchange of fire between the people you got drama with and the local NPCs. Give them a round of applause for bringing that gameplay element and it's definitely game changing. No longer will you have people in the middle of a shoot, I just walking by like ain't nothing happening. And then if they feel like getting involved, they're gonna pull out their strap and they're gonna do what they do. Now, for you people that's also coming from the Grand Theft Auto era and y'all like to buy apartments, we got four new locations for you to upgrade your apartment, get better living situations, and deck out your house how you want. Now, I thought that was amazing. Man, you know what? I didn't expect this in that patch at all and with this with, with be able i'm not really into buying apartments in games i just play the game but for those people that like to do it yes it's amazing also we got two new weapons yeah that's not a lot but it adds to the vast arsenal that's already in the game from previously and what's also crazy they have revamped the skill tree and perks situation yes they got rid of them perks that just didn't make no sense like better fighting underwater underwater where i haven't seen no underwater scenes and if you did let me know in them comments but they got rid of all of the unnecessary perks and skills that directly will be better in the game now i'm figuring some of them skills and perks was related to future content but being that we didn't get it oh to the well with that being said, let's get into the two major things that everybody wanted. Performance mode and quality mode. Across PS5 and Xbox Series X, you have those two modes. Now, the first mode, let's get into your performance. You frame rate buffs. Shout out to my boy, Blo Bloody Knuckles. 4K, 60 frames, medium setting. Now that's what I'm talking about. So if you want to play this game in 60 frames per second in 4K, with minor dips that they say, you'll be able to play this game. That's across Xbox Series X and, and PlayStation 5. Now, for quality mode, PS5, Xbox Series X, you have 4K 30. And yes, the infamous 
ray tracing. For you people out there that be capping for ray tracing, you got it. Now I'm not a ray tracing dude because I, as I always say, it hinders game performance. As you see, it went from 60 to 30 real quick. But you also get high settings and textures in this mode also. And you know, your boy Lemon, I love graphics. I'm aiming at 4K 30, quality mode, no sir. Well, yes sir, quality mode, forget performance mode. We ain't doing that. But for the little man on the block, the Xbox Series S, the one that's flying off the charts, man, you get 1440p at 30 frames with medium graphic settings. Come on, people, 1440p. Hitting that high note of the system, not 1080p, we got 1440p. Man, this is an exciting day. Now, I dabbled in the game a little bit. You know I went straight to quality mode. I did try performance. It was smooth, but I re I'd rather had them. I'd rather have those graphics. You tell me in these comments. Get in there, let's talk about it. You tell me, what would you prefer? 60 frames, medium settings, or 4K 30 high settings with ray tracing? Because technically, if a game is 60 frames, you really ain't gonna really see too many games with ray tracing. There's always a dip in performance. But you let me know how you like to play. And this is a great genre to be in because now they're giving us options. Close to PC, they're giving you saying high graphics with, with all medium graphics with 60 frames or 30. I'm taking that all day. And with that being said, tune in this Saturday. The game giveaway is going to be seafood. And I will be picking somebody out the chat. And you will be the seafood winner. Yeah, you know how we do here. We're giving games away. And we love the gaming community. Hit that like and subscribe button. It is greatly appreciated. And I will see you in the next video. Which should be an unboxing of Horizon Forbidden West. Let's get it. I'll see y'all in the next one.